Question number 54. We have a vertical length of copper wire that moves to the right at a steady velocity V in a magnetic field, which is also to the right, uh, which of the following describes the induced charges on the ends of the wire. The right hand rule. We are already limber, so limber. So we take our fingers, we point them of our right hand, point them in the direction of the velocity. We curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. Uh, I don't know how to. I can't. Uh, I can't do it. What do I do? The, what do I do? The right hand rule. You fail me. You fail me. Oh, it's because of the angle. Yeah, the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. Yeah, uh, it's zero degrees and the sine of zero degrees is zero. Yeah, so the magnetic force is zero and there's nowhere for your thumb to go if the magnetic force is zero. <laughs> yeah, yep, you are right. So this um, copper wire is basically a bunch of charged particles that are all moving to the right. And the equation for the magnetic force on a charged particle moving in a magnetic field is... The charge times the velocity of the charged particle times the magnetic field it's moving through times the sine of the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. And yes, in this particular case, the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field is zero. And the sine of zero is zero, so the correct answer is that the magnetic force is equal to zero. Correct answer is E.